Absolutely, that would be a stitch up. Hopefully it's at a neutral ground and we can watch your boys absolutely fly just like Jack Rewell did on the weekend. Oh boy. What a grab. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Are we that th- was... The run back with the flight hanger. Yeah. Wow, what a mark. Uh, well, runs in yeah, the, like... Runs in the DNA, runs in the blood. <laughs> well, it's probably the best rewalt mark I've seen. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to, to go back with the flight and then get the launch of a Jeremy Howe hanger, um, it was like both brave and skillful. And the, the <laughs> and at a super Mar- crucial time of the game and goes back and kicks a goal. Marbiel Chol absolutely nails him because he's coming over the top from the other side. If Marbiel Chol didn't nail him, though, Jack Rayor was going to springboard like over the top and almost cartwheel over the top. That's how the forward roll. insane it was. Yeah. So uh, Marbiel Chol nailing him probably helped him in the end there, but it was just, it's probably one of the best marks I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of people sort of trying to uh, take away from it a little bit going, oh, you know, it wasn't that good. That's it not, was that's seriously. Not, that's not like it the footy was, public to just take the negative <laughs> approach to everything. Especially not on Twitter, no. We can get rid of that part of our culture, can't we? Why is our first instinct to just, be negative. Why, don't, why can't we just be a bit more positive for the public? It was one of the greatest marks I've ever seen. Yeah, so you're <laughs> declaring it mark of the year? Yeah. I'd love to see it. I would love for that to be mark of the year. If Sam Walsh is was mark of the year last year, then I think this is more than deserving of being mark of the year. And it's, um, you know, once a mark doesn't, uh, one mark doesn't define your career. But, gee, as time and time goes on, the question of Jack Rewalt versus Nick Rewalt is starting to be quite... Quite compelling. I think it's comprehensively. I think Jack Rewald. Well, Jack Rewald's got a better got a better resume for sure. Yeah, like almost like really shits on Nick Rewalds to be honest. But what about um, um, and I haven't got the numbers, but what from a from a best and fairest um, and an all Australian point of view? Um, <laughs> do you have any idea where we're tracking? I think, it? N- I think Nick, I was watching Fox Footy the other day. I think it flashed up Nick has five yep. all Australians. And I think, or maybe it was five best and fairest. I wouldn't be surprised if it's both. Yep. But what? Jack Rewald's got three Coleman's, three, <laughs> three premierships. Col- See, three Coleman's on its own <laughs> is, just, yeah. is just good enough to stack up against really anybody. Um, yeah, three premierships. Um, geez, he's been very, very good. Uh, but to be fair, I think Jack Rewald probably has the better... Resume, but I still think Nick Rewalt was probably the better player. Yeah, I think that I think that's the general consensus. But it is amazing that when Jack started out, you know, he was a bit of a whipping boy of the competition. Everyone thought he, he was a massive whipping boy. He might just be getting getting a game because of his name, and he wasn't quite that good. But for now, uh, now for him to be, you could legitimately argue the case that he is a better footballer than Nick Rewalt. It is uh, absolutely amazing, and good on you, Jack Rewalt.